Hey guys, Mike here at MH Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. Okay, so today we're going to do another subscriber request. And the question that I got was, can you uh, explain how to engrave a text in an object without using the, uh, the Boolean function? Okay, so that's what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to create an object made of stone and we're going to create a custom normal map to create the text that we needed as uh, as engravement okay so a couple of things we need to do first obviously we're going to start by creating an object so we'll take a polygon cube we'll pull that up we'll set our translate values to zero to make sure that that's nice and centered like so and let's adjust the values to make it nice and square. So I'll do five by five by five. All right, so that's our cube. Then we're gonna UV it. We're gonna go to create UVs. We'll try automatic mapping and we'll go to edit UVs, UV texture editor to see what we got, which gives us this layout here. Now you would think that that would be fine, but actually it's not and I'll show you why. These elements are not connected. If I right click go to shell, and take one of these and hit W and move that over. There should be one total layout here. So we're going to connect the rest of them. Okay. You can see by selecting this, that this is this side right here. So we're going to right click, go to edge. We're going to select that edge and it corresponds with this one down here. And we're going to go up to move and sew on this little cross here. Okay. Connects that one. We'll repeat that process. Connects that one connects that one, connects that one. And now let's see where this one lines up down here. So that one, there we go. So we're gonna right click, go to shell. And now if you select shell, you got everything. And that tells you that you are good to go, okay? It needs to fit in our zero to one UV space. So we're gonna scale it down just a little, like so, okay? And then we're going to go to Polygon's UV Snapshot. And I'm going to click on Browse because I want to save it on my desktop. And I'll call it Cube UV. Hit Save. Let's do a, uh, I don't know, 2048 map by 2048 map. Okay. I'm going to save it as a JPEG and I want it in my normal zero to one space as explained here. And okay, there we go. Then we're going to go to Photoshop. I'm going to go and I'll just close this out. I'm going to go to file, open, <coughs> excuse me. And we're going to go to our, uh, where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? cube UV okay and open that now it's white on black and I'd rather reverse that so I'm gonna hit control I to reverse that so we've got black and white and I'm gonna go to file open and go to my texture map okay where'd you go that's not that one uh, actually it's stone yeah it's this one okay all right, so that's my stone texture. I'm gonna adjust the uh, the image size. So image image size, and let's make that 2048 by 2048. That looks better. Okay, so we got that. We got that. Then I'm gonna go over to this guy right here, and I'm gonna go to my rectangular selection up there. Select this entire thing and hit Control C to duplicate that. Go over here and hit Control V to paste. All right, so now I got two layers. And let's move this one, okay. And then I'm going to adjust the opacity of my layer one. So let's do something like this. And what's important is that I'm able to see this area right there, that square, okay? 
So I got layer one. I'll just double click on that. Come on. It should respond. Uh, I'm going to go with duplicate layer. And I'll call this one. Oops. Normal. Okay. And this one I'll call UV snap. All right. So this is going to be our normal map. All right. <clears throat> this layer. Now for that layer, um, I want to use endo. Okay. So we're going to go up here and we're going to use photo normal presets. Reason being that this will allow me to use a stone texture. So we got asphalt. Um, let's see which one fits best. Maybe street asphalt would be okay. Let's see what else we got. We're going to go back up here. Let's do street asphalt. I'll maybe make it a bit rougher. We'll do this. Okay. Select active dock. It's going to create a number of layers. <clears throat> that takes a bit. <clears throat> there we go. So now we have um, our UV overlaid on here. It's going to uh, emphasize the corners. That's fine. What we're going for is we're now going to go to our text right here, hold that, go to our horizontal text, and we'll go in here and we'll type in stone. We're going to take our selection. Let's move that to the middle like so. And then we are going to wait a sec, and as you can see, it's already converted to a normal. And we have the ability to size that. I'll just hit Control Plus so we can see it a bit closer. Like so. So we can tweak the depth if you want. Kind of like it like that. Let's go to bevel and that's not bad. Kind of nice, actually. It's not necessarily engraved, but we can decide to do inner or outer, as you can see here. But I kind of like this, so we'll just go with that. Okay. And then I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to save this out as a JPEG. Um, yeah. <clears throat> there we go. And I'm going to save it on my desktop. And I'll call this stone normal. Let's get my caps lock on. All right. And let's save that out. And save that out. We're going to go back to Maya. There we go. And first, we're going to right-click on object mode, right-click, assign new material, Lambert. We're going to hit our color checkered box here. We're going to select file, click on our folder, and we're going to look for our original stone that we had. Um, white stone, there you go. All right, we're going to hit our checkered ball here, which looks all right and then we're going to select this guy we're going to go into our material we're going to go to the bump map section hit our checkered box and once again hit file and then down here use as instead of bump we're going to select tangent space normal okay we're going to go to the file section and now we can select the normal map that we created okay so hit the folder and we call this thing stone normal. There we go. We're going to hit open. And let's see where he put our text. 
All right there. Okay, cool. All right. Turned out okay. So we're going to create some lights here. Lights and point light. We're going to have seven on our keyboard. We're going to pull that out. And as you can see, pretty neat. All right. Now we have these edges going on here on the corners. That's a result of uh, combining our UV uh, snapshot with our normal. If you don't want that, you can just uh, leave that out. But uh, I thought it looked pretty cool. So that is how you do that. So hopefully this was helpful. If you've got any questions, let me know. And I'd love to see you guys again.